Acknowledging that more California communities are in a position to slowly reopen businesses, Governor Gavin Newsom on Monday loosened rules linking coronavirus infection rates to allowed activities, a change that could release most parts of the state from the tight rules of his stay-at-home order. We recognize the conditions across the state are unique and distinctive depending where you are, Newsom said. The decision by Newsom comes less than two weeks after his administration first began transferring more decision-making power to local public health officials and was prompted, he said, by additional data suggesting steady rates of hospitalizations and COVID-19 patients treated in intensive care units as well as increased testing and more protective gear for healthcare workers. Remember, the whole purpose of the stay-at-home order was to prepare and to respond in the worst-case scenario, Newsom said. Our capacity to meet surge has been, I think, advanced. The rules will allow restaurant dining rooms and shopping malls to open again in counties that meet the new criteria. The governor also hinted that even bigger changes envisioned in later stages of reopening are just around the corner, such as the opening of hair salons and even spectator-free sporting events as soon as the first week in June. The changes, announced during a visit by Newsom to a restaurant in Napa, mean that roughly 53 of California's 58 counties can now move further into the second of four stages toward reopening if they so choose, he said. But it is not expected to mean immediate changes in Los Angeles County, which continues to outpace other parts of the state in confirmed cases and deaths. Most notable in Monday's announcement is that counties will no longer be kept from loosening the shutdown rules if there have been COVID-19 deaths in the previous two weeks. The original standard was criticized by many of California's urban counties, whose leaders argued that even a single fatal case would block them from moving deeper into the second stage of reopening rules crafted by the Newsom administration. The new standard removes the death rate requirement and replaces it with a more generous threshold based on rates of newly confirmed cases. Counties will be able to move toward a more expansive reopening if they can show no more than 25 coronavirus cases per 100,000 residents in the last 14 days before taking action, a standard that was originally one new case per 10,000 residents. Counties could, instead, show that less than 8% of residents tested for the virus over a seven-day period were positive. Counties also must show that hospitalizations for COVID-19 patients have stabilized, meaning they can't increase by more than 5% over a seven-day period or that a county can't have more than 20 hospitalizations on any single day over a seven-day period. The announcement could help ease the tensions that have arisen over Newsom's stay-at-home order, now in its ninth week, after several defiant counties reopened this month without prior approval. Modoc County allowed all businesses to reopen May 1, while Yuba and Sutter counties cleared gyms, nail and hair salons, shopping malls and other retailers to resume operations days later. The Newsom administration sent warning letters to the three counties on May 7, stating that the local governments could become ineligible for disaster funding if they continued to defy the governor's order and urging them to instead work with the state. While Newsom promised Monday that changes are coming soon for those hoping to visit businesses like hair salons or see some return of sporting events, it was unclear whether he was hinting that much of California could be nearing the third stage in his reopening rules, as those activities have previously been described as being only after the second stage loosenings have all taken place. Amid the pushback from counties, Newsom also adopted a framework to allow some areas to move ahead of his administration's pace. If local governments want to open more businesses, the plan allows counties to submit an application declaring that the presence of the virus is limited or non-existent in their jurisdictions and they've met certain requirements to prepare for a future surge in infections. Giving credence to the arguments that the requirements were unrealistic, a Times analysis at the time found that the vast majority of counties in California failed to meet the first two criteria, no deaths and no more than one case per 10,000 residents in the prior two weeks. As of Monday, Newsom said 24 counties have declared that they met the state's criteria to move further ahead in Stage 2. Orange County Supervisor Lisa Bartlett, who is president of State's Association of Counties, said Newsom's decision affirms the work of local officials in being swift to act, flatten the curve and protect the public's health. 
even after the governor announced Monday he was rescinding the requirement that counties have no coronavirus-related deaths in two weeks in order to move ahead of the state, it's still unlikely that Los Angeles County will meet the standards. Local officials say the infection rate in the county is falling, but they remain concerned about the potential spread of the disease.